What's up, guys? KTC Gaming, and welcome to the, uh, so far, the final episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Guardians of the Universe. This is episode 5. This is the one that I'm in. Hooray. Except we're not going to see me until the very end. So, I, I, when I, when this came out, it actually came out 11 hours ago. I just went to the part where I knew I was at, so I didn't watch the whole thing. So, we're going to be watching episode 5. And, yeah... Without out of the way, let's go ahead and get straight into it. It's like 30 minutes long, so we need to, to get right into this. Anything you got to say, Jacob, before we start? Um, hopefully you do. Hopefully you did a good job, and uh, let's take a look, KT. Let's go. Dang, music's loud. No, I turned it down for oh, my awesome. ears, but made sure it didn't affect the volume. Enough for restocking our items too. Huh. Here we go. Sure. I need, we only really need some more orange berries. We got spirit vials in the storage already. What are you holding in your palm, Iba? Oh, that's our poke. We were actually counting to see if... Oops. Smack. Oh, sorry, HP. Force of habit. Crap. Why? But, um, I'd like to talk to you about something now, Iba. Snap. To wait for a bit. Oh. We really need the supplies, mm. especially given our current situation. Welcome to Zelenia Town. See ya, Pikachu. There are so many po mons here. So many mons. Are you suggesting I should have went with hover boots? Mm hmm. He, he just nods. Wait, before you depart, my child. What? Make sure you. Oh, she's just a good shot. Gardevoir? Oh. Oh no. Father Vishva, have they found us already? My telepathy is cutting off. I'm sorry, but I must depart now. But before I do, you must keep yours and the human girl stones protected at all costs. Human? Their marks and their very existence are strongly vital in both your roles in this universe and your lives. I don't very well understand this, but I won't ask any more questions, God of War. But we're not done here. I want answers next time. So, thank you for looking out for us. Uh okay. Does she not recognize the stone on there? Obviously, the stones have different symbols. In the first one, she was human. She wore the necklace, and it had the symbol on it. That's the same symbol. Yeah, that was the symbol of Turkey. Which one is it, Jacob? Which one? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh. No. Jesus. Come on, he's serious? It's a valuable item in battle, Waiba. So of course it would be expensive. <sighs> Guess I can't argue with that. I'll give you a discount next time, erstwhile. Promise. Miss Human, how about I tell you about things in our town? That would be nice. Great! Now listen closely. And I mean it, because I'm not going to repeat myself after this. Uh, 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 right. Teach. Scary. So to start things off, Typhlosion's Bazaar sells all kinds of items for Pokemon. It's nice. great to check it out and see what's there, especially since they change every day. Next, there's Miss Mocha's Bank. You can store and take out your Poke with her help. It's pretty basic, so don't hesitate to use her services. Metacham's aura shop is pretty useful. Sounds like an introduction to a video game. From her. Yes. Hey, yes, such an introduction. Soon would be good. <laughs> There's also Aaron Gatto. He's a little uh, self-absorbed. I gotta, I gotta give it though. These designs for the Pokemon are on point. Yeah. The near mystery shop will open any chest you find in dungeons. It may not look Yeah, they're pretty good. I see they made Baneri less, um... Cute. Baneri looking, because obviously Pokemon was... Pokemon was wild in, when they made, uh, when they made, uh, Baneri. Oh, yeah. I'll get a quick nap once we... Goodness. Bro, that sounded... It came from the direction real, dude. Yep. Yeah. Please, stop that... Someone, someone's getting smacked. Give me back my shadow stone and leave me alone. Please, just listen to her. Threat, Florista, you're hurting her. 
no way. First Raid, then Lyba, and now this girl. The first two, I can accept. Wait, isn't that a Baneri? No, that's a Lopany. Uh, much. Oh, okay, never mind. That's what I was meaning. Lopany was the one where uh, Game Freak was, was wild and with design. Yeah. Yeah, it was that one. So you not just realized... What? This law bunny supposed to be a resemblance of the girl when she was in school, the blonde chick. That's the vibe I'm getting. Feels like that she's getting in that like a fight, the same type of interaction that she did when she was in school. Hmm. That's what I'm starting to think here. Yeah. But you're not welcome here. What? Why not? I didn't do anything wrong. One bit. Leave. Now. Fred, please. She's our guest, so let me pass. Sorry, but I can't. Even if you try to fly over me, I'll just ice bang you. Ouch. Just what's so important that you'd attack your own guilty? I'd like to know the same thing. You about to get your butt kicked, boy. Yes, you do. Making a grand entrance, as always. Why can't you stay in the shadows, Lyba? Huh? Did she just teleport in front of me? I'm the one asking questions here, Floristra. What are you still doing here? I thought you and your team had an expedition to do. You thought wrong, Lyba. Because of that girl, Raid got called for something last minute. So, me and Thread are here. Who's Raid? What? That doesn't mean you can go and steal her things. Being the Guildmaster's sister is no excuse either. It means nothing now that you've attacked her. <laughs> Alright, now beat her up. <sighs> Fine. You can have this back. <sighs> Come on, Threat. We can watch guard on the island before dinner time. Right behind you. Oh. Whenever I'm in trouble like this, I was usually just ignore me or blame me for the whole situation. So, um... Feeling a sense of joy that you two cared enough to help me. The only ones who cared about me were the Pokemon who raised me. You're the fan in the background. Beautiful. Oops. Yes, I get it now. Why she ran off? That's nothing too important. It was because she didn't want to be a burden to us. But here, take my paw, miss. Thank you, Mr. Haverfoot. Sure, editing this was hard enough. They're gone? Well, they yeah, I guess so. Hey, human. Hey, buddy! Fletcher. Who this? Why is she very shaky? Is she Russian? <laughs> we get our Russian leafy on, yay. <laughs> Don't mind my Emma, she's just uh, very, very tired after my German. We had to rescue that little girl, you know? <laughs> Russian. Anyway, our room was over here. Right. All right. See that name? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I see the name. See, I see, I see mine too. Hmm. We'll be resting here. That'll come in, into importance. Use the force. Wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it's really pretty, Miss Lyba. And cozy. I was saying, oh wow, because it kind of looked pretty cool, and then the actor's like, oh wow. So, oh wow. Um, what are we doing now? Kill time. I need to rest before we go to the guild master. While I sleep, you can explore the guild if you want. Uh, oh, um, I'd prefer not to. There's also, um, that thing I was trying to say to you earlier. Right. Mr. Nanthi told you about something? Come on already, just say it! Um, it's really, really important. I can't exactly think what she wanted to tell you. Ah. <sighs> Fine, I'll stay up for a few more minutes so you can do that. But first, I should give you this. It'll help you avoid capture a little easier. A scarf? Yep, a detect scarf to be precise. It'll help you dodge attacks more frequently. Y you didn't have to. Thank you. Just taking the necessary precautions. <laughs> now what was it that you wanted to tell me? Right. Come on! Um, man if he told me about your missing partner. Her name. It's Yolini, isn't it? <gasps> I know that. Because 
my name was also Yorin. Finally! Through all of this, I've always had the same dream. Darkrai and Gardevoir are there. And you were there too, trying to save me from the inevitable. I was your partner. You... I don't know how, but yes, Lyba. Get out. Uh, huh? Get out! You're lying! You're nothing like her! Uh, I didn't mean to! I... Oh, articles. The God of War wouldn't just hand her over to us like this. But why? But that name, her name, why is it the same? Like our identities are nothing alike. Ouch. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. I don't care what planet you're from, that's gotta hurt. Gosh, that's sad. It's a cool scene. That looks really that looks really legit. Yeah. Screw me. Dear. It's a different lap bunny. Oh, Three not the same. Fighting. Come on, take a paw, friend. Or okay. is it a imposter? Anything wrong? No. Just um, I thought you were that other lap bunny. You mean my sister? Oh no, I'm Hikari, the guild master of the Zelenia Guild. I'm sorry about Floristra. She's a little upset about Raid leaving for an alternative mission. I'm not sure why, but I hope she didn't cause much trouble. <laughs> um, I wouldn't get too hopeful on that. Oh, I'd better talk to her later then. Snitch. <laughs> Here. A flower? Put it right here. I'm gonna huh? give you power. Okay. A magical power. Unlimited power. Feels so warm. The honeysuckle in Pokemon? I don't know. Feeling a lot better now. Guildmaster Hikari! There you are. Everyone's assembled in the chamber room. Oh, really? But I don't see you in there, Celeste. Jeez, this isn't the time, Guildmaster. We've got a lot to cover, so please come along with us. For an Umbreon. <laughs> You've been through a lot, haven't you? I wouldn't too much. I'm sure you'll get through to Lyba. Really? She really doesn't believe that I'm her partner. But I hope you're right, ma'am. Evening, Miss Human. <gasps> Did you see that character? Yo, sweet Hikari. Ooh. Hello. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. The flowers are just dazzling at night. Oh, so that's where you were. Yes. I just needed some fresh air and Good shot. Maybe she's still upset from what I said before. It seems that we're all here, so Hey. Perseus won't be here this meeting. <laughs> no, ma'am. He is currently making dinner for everyone. Well, that's a shame. I don't mean to interrupt, but I really would like to start now, Guildmaster. Oh, of course. Go ahead and give us your report, Team Erstwhile. Thanks. I'll do my best to summarize it effectively. It's skipping over the message. I see. Yeah. So this Gardevoir you spoke of directed you to the craggy coast, where the Snivy fell from the sky. A tamed, infected Espeon? And her guest being human, though. Is that even possible? Smart infected is a disturbing thing for sure. Okay. You are right. You better back. It's true. <laughs> we saw it. It was... 
that her infected talked like she was sent to correct me. But we have no idea why. Just like how you don't know why you were sent here, or why you would ever think that you were my partner? Partner? Miss Hewlett is her. What? No, I do have an idea of why. Because of- And you think I'd honestly believe that? Ouch. I'll admit that you are the key to it, but there's no way that you could ever be her. Not with that body or that cowardice voice hole. Hey. Oh. I... Lyba, that's enough. That you're right, Celeste. We can discuss more after dinner and a good night's rest. Oh, Ooh. dang. However, I will I... say that Yolini is a Snivy, a Pokemon not native to the grass continent. Your stones are also connected somehow. So we'll need to look into that soon. Save theirs, little ones. We eat. Okay. Aren't mm. you coming, Guildmaster? In a bit. I need to send a message regarding this matter. And some personal things. Well, alright. Just don't be too long. We go. We're going to need you. I'm aware. Okay. Do you all have that down, PZ? Recording. Thank you. Hey. And ruin right Meow. Away. The destination is the same as usual. Oh, and if you run into raid, that was a quick. To come home, I would like her insight on the stones. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm? Threat and Floristra are checking around town, but where's Lapras? Did he have to do one more ride before returning to the island? Oh no! Error! Error! Must retreat! Oh no! Retreat? No. We can't let you tell the others about this. KT, so no! For us to die, little messenger. News that would have been bad for us. That's not the result I want. Thank goodness Zora patched me up in time for this. Oh, anyway. I better stop monologuing to myself and get on to what he asked me to do for our boss's cause. <laughs> We're going to Salentia Island. Poor body! This is very important. So I hope you don't mind that I brought a couple friends along for the ride. She. Wow. Whoever. If you guys <clears throat> and if you guys don't believe me, look at that right there, guys. Wow. Wow, you were the best performance in the entire dub, KT. You actually were. You were the best, KT. You were the best. I'm not going to take any credit away from them. They all did amazing good job. I think the best, I think the ones that really like, stand out a lot when it comes to the voicing is definitely Hover Boots. You can definitely tell there's a lot of uh, feeling going into that character. Mm -hmm. uh, Libas too. I think the acting on that one's really good. Uh, Yelini, it was more of just like regular talking as much. It's still good, but I'm yet to see any like massive growth happening so we can get a, a little bit more of expressions out of Yelini and stuff hopefully throughout the next few episodes. Manaphy, I got a little confused a bit how each time at the end of a sentence it would say mana, but I think that's just the way that the character is supposed to be talking. Um, the the guilt master was a very good, uh, very good one too. The typhlosion that was spot on. Like the, the typhlosion felt like a really good voice for the uh, for the Pokemon. And then the uh, Floristra, yeah, really good too. And I think I think Threat and Celestia. Isn't that the ones that were? Were those the ones that uh, they, they uh, Yelini bit in the back? Cause that's what it looked like. The one who had their uh, their hand on top of PZ. As you could tell, cause it had that goggles and stuff, and it looks like she had her eyes covered. So maybe maybe that's because when she got attacked or something. But yeah. Either way, I'm not taking any credit away from all the other voice actors. Obviously, they all did a really good job. I just had two lines, but I do know that at some point. Well, I don't know if I should say it or not, but there is a future 
So don't worry, I didn't get eaten, even though they say they like to eat flesh. Technically, I'm a robot. I'm not flesh, so mm-hmm. I should be okay. He should be okay, folks. He should be all right. But, but again, also thank you, uh, Shadow Wolf, for letting me voice PZ. Uh, I'll try to get better electrical sounds because obviously I could definitely tell that those electrical sounds were a bit hard to go through and stuff, especially when you're trying to pretend to be a robot that's like having an electrical surge come out. It's very hard. <laughs> Trust me. That took me a long, it took me a while to get the right. Zzz. 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 Yeah. But yeah, I got to say that was probably like a really good episode, but let's see what it was talking about in the description or whatnot. It was saying that there's uh, updates. Because uh, of how uh, long this video is, I will make a separate video of the outtakes for episode 5 of this episode because there were so many in there, so expect the next episode to be an outtake video. Also, update in the description below. Hope you enjoy the episodes. We are also <laughs> almost at 1K subs. I will be doing a 1K sub Q&A stream. All right. All right. Description. I want to thank each and every person for giving me a sub. We are almost at 1k mark, and I am so excited. However, there are some things I want to explain. One, there would be no episode 4 of PMD Explorers of Heart. Those of you that have enjoyed those episodes, I greatly appreciate it, but please stop asking me for where episode 4 is. If you had not read the update of the end of the third episode in that series, watch the credits carefully. It explains why there is no episode 4, and I will be repeating this in the description of EOH episode 3. Once this is finish being seen two once we hit 1k subs i will hopefully stream a q a for about an hour or two so also please be aware that i will have rules to it three please 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 stop asking me when episodes will come out i know that i am not consistent with what i do when posting episodes but do but it takes time for everyone to come together also from here on out if i see a question that asks about when episodes come out i will instantly delete them four Warning that this series does contain some swearing. If you are not comfortable with that, you can skip to the next part. But again, there isn't much swearing. Honestly, I don't mind that. I think this one was a little bit more tame compared to the one with the fight. <laughs> and <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> the s gonna gets back bit now. That's probably mm -hmm. the one that had the most swears. It was pretty dark and stuff. But other than that, this episode wasn't too bad. Yeah. Yeah, that is it for this one. How long was this video? 35 minutes. Goodness. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was episode 5 of Pokemon Street Dungeon Guardians of the Universe. What did you think, Jacob? Well. You've been working on these for a while because it's 1040 at night here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it was pretty good. Pretty good overall. Yeah, yeah. Pr pretty good thing overall. I'll definitely say that it might be my favorite episode, mainly because I mainly because I was in it. But uh, but I act, but if I was actually like be honest with which one my favorite episode was, would probably be the third one. Yeah, yeah, the third one is just epic. But your third one had so much action. But your voice is much better than everyone else. So take that as you will. Everyone did an excellent job. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video, people. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, please subscribe, and take it away, Katie. Thank you guys for watching this video, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. We had more than 70% of people who are watching our content but are not subscribed. So if you would, it would be a great appreciation if you would subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be notified when new videos come out. And with all the way, I'll see you guys next time with a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu episode. Peace out, and see you later, people.